Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of the Southampton Gary Mode. As you can see here, we have the top scorer, Luis Moriel, with 12 goals. He's 3 goals ahead of Diego Costa from Chelsea. And if you look at the table here, we are shining on on 1st place. 2 points ahead of Chelsea with the same games played. And we have a home game at St. Mary Stadium against Newcastle. We find Newcastle in... 11th place. They aren't doing bad actually with 22 points. I actually thought they were gonna be in the bottom of the league but they aren't so Derby County, Norwick and QPR are on the... oh shit Derby County with only 7 points after 17 games. There were only one one game and that was against Spurs I think. No it was against Man City and they're drawn 4 lost 12 only scored scored 13 goals. We have scored 29 goals, and only conceded nine goals. Whoa, that's impressive! But yeah, let's uh, jump into this game. So I'll see you guys on the pitch. So yes, welcome to Saint Mary Stadium. Let's play against Newcastle United, and I have pretty much the same team as the last game. We have uh, Font instead for Browning. Ridwell is back in the lineup after his uh, red card. Oh, great pass to Luis Moriel. So much space. Luis Moriel. Finesse this. Rebound. No. Almost. This game is actually really boring. Rodriguez gets that ball nicely. The pass wasn't that good though. Oh shit. Oh shit. Comes a great ball. Struggle, rebound, and it's a goal. What is my defense doing? Riedeval and Kenny Tete does nothing there. Here, Tete just could have he could have headed that out, but no. And he went to uh, Paris here. Paris shoots. Butland saves the first one and the rebound he can't really do anything about. So it, it isn't... Re what? Kenny Tete, what are you doing? How can you lose the ball there? Now Winjaldum is coming on for De Jong. Wendell makes a run here, come on. Great. Pass it to Luis Moriel. Luis Moriel. Moriel, shoot! Penalty! Ref, penalty! What? How is that on a penalty? Luis Moriel with a great run there and then he's taken out in the box and there's nothing done from the ref at all. Did he? I have no idea. Passes into Rodriguez. I don't know what Rodriguez is gonna do here. Pass it to Ramirez. Ramirez shoots and we get a corner. Money, turn here. Come on, run with it. Run with it. Finish this. Money. Really? He saved that as well? What? Don't blow the whistle. Don't blow the whistle. Oh, it's so. At home against Newcastle and we lost, really? Against Newcastle. Oh, uh, we should have like two penalties there. Ayosa Perez with the only goal. Five shots, four on target by us. Three shots, three on target by Newcastle. This is gonna mean that we drop points in the league. I think we lost the first place to Chelsea now. Oh, look at the defense. Four point, a four on Tete, a 4.9 on Riddeveld, really? I don't, do I need to fix my defense? So, yeah guys, this is gonna be the last game of this episode. We are gonna play away from home against West Ham. It's gonna be a struggle. And as you can see, Chelsea didn't win at all. They lost their game, so we are still two points behind. Or, two... St behind, really? We are still two points ahead of Chelsea. We are three points ahead of Arsenal. I think Arsenal won their last game. We find West Ham on a 12th place here. Six wins, four draws, and eight uh, losses. They've scored 22 goals. 
we have scored 29 goals but we are struggling as of right now I'm gonna make some changes in the lineup and then I'll see you guys on the pitch so guys welcome to the last game of this episode we are gonna play West Ham United away from home here and because this team or this team this game is uh, two days after the last one so we have had to make a lot of changes in the lineup Harrison Reed is playing again Ryan Seager is playing Moriel is playing Turnbull and uh, Browning is playing Cedric Augustinson Davis and Ward Prowse Junami I think I have him in the lineup as well so this is maybe call it a B team Luis Moriel is playing because I need someone I can rely on on top there I can't rely on uh, Shane Long or oh great ball to Ryan Seager I can't uh, rely on Ryan Seager to oh maybe I can't rely on Seager oh I I meant to say I can't really rely on the youngster Ryan Seager to to carry the team on his shoulders up front by himself so I needed my top goal scorer to play this game maybe only one half or something because after two days again from this game we have uh, Manchester City so I don't know why we have such a packed week this time but I think we can get at least one win from it oh great save great save Butland oh shit I I thought I gave away a penalty. Place it off to Ryan Seager here. Seager, what is he gonna do? What can he do? He's so small, so if they come near him, they will tackle him right away. Harrison Reed into Davies. Take Davies takes a touch, shoots, and it goes wide and right up in there as well. To Augustine's son. Who passes it to Luis Moriel? Oh, great to Ward Prowse there. Ward Prowse, what a goal! I think it's first goal of this season actually. Ward Prowse has had so many chances, but he hasn't scored on him. Luis Moriel here. I see Ward Prowse run. I made a finesse right away. I didn't take a touch or anything. I shoot. Ward Prowse with a wonder goal. We are 1 0 up. actually curious to see is it his first goal for this season is it yeah it's his first goal of this season in the BPL I'm actually looking to sign a new center back in the January center center window <laughs> in the January trans window I have seen in this uh, in these uh, games that we have been lacking in the defense not by me defending bad but uh, we have like font he's good he's 33 years old and still my best defender but still we can't use him later on because he's gonna retire oh great Muriel Muriel shoot what a goal Luis Muriel he just turns the player look at this he turns him and he falls over he cuts inside shoots 2-0 up, Luis Moriel, what a goal, what a beast he is, his 13th goal in the BBL so far, what the hell, what happened there, but yeah, as I was saying, I'm looking to sign a new center back, so if you have any suggestions on a center back, please comment down below, so I have some, some players I can go off right away, instead of me looking for them, oh shit, no 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 get it out nicely done Turnbull here comes West Ham through Jelavik but there's no problem for us there great passing here can we turn this now Ward Prowse oh that's a f really ugly tackle oh shit oh shit they were gonna score here Oh, almost a goal. 
Oh, we are so lucky. How did I not end up in the back of the net? I have no idea. Should really be a goal there. And there goes the final whistle, guys. It's a 2-0 win. It wasn't the easiest of games. We kind of struggled in the defense again. West Ham had so many chances, but it didn't get a shot off because of their lack of passing, really. If they did, it m they maybe would have had like at least two or three goals or something. But yeah, Ward Prowse gets his first goal of the season. Luis Moriel keeps scoring goals for us. Six shots, two on target by us, and those two shots on target went in. West Ham had three shots, one on target. They bust us in the in the possession there. Assist goes to Steve Davies. He was the captain of this game, and Luis Moriel gets an assist. He, ha he had one goal and one assist in this game. So let's look at the table and then end the episode. So guys, this is <laughs> this is how the table looks like as of right now. Chelsea dropped points in the last game, so that means we are four points ahead of Chelsea on that second place, which is really good for us. Now, only two days later, we have Manchester City in the next game of the beginning of the next episode. They are on eighth place, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, by Manchester City. They are on 26 points. They can say bye bye to that top 5. They can finish in top 6, I think. Maybe. But the top 5, they can say bye bye to. So, yeah, that's gonna be the end of this episode. So, we're gonna play our first game of the next episode against Manchester City at home at St. Mary Stadium. And. The January transfer window actually begins in the next episode. So, yeah, let's leave it like this and leave a like, comment down below who I should, should sign. I'm actually curious on what you guys think. I know I have went on uh, the place I wanted to sign. I'm thinking of doing it again this time because I have some center backs I want to sign so yeah leave a like comment down below subscribe so you can keep up with my other videos and I'll see you guys later so bye